Hey everybody, Arthur here with another figure review. Today we have Marvel Legends Electra. This is from the Spider Build a Figure Wave, and there's no box because I got this from my boy Nathan Simmons, aka Syndicate Santa, and this is because uh, he ended up having a defective build a figure piece. So I think Hasbro swapped it out or something like that, and he ended up getting an extra figure, and he asked who needed it, and I said, I really want to get Electra. I don't want to complete the wave, but I want Electra. So he sent it my direction. And in hand, looking at her, you can straight up say, wow, this is almost like it's a red Psylocke. Um, but the figure looks really good. She comes with uh, a build figure piece that I did not receive because I don't care. And she does come with two weapons, which I think are freaking gorgeous. Um, if we can get it to focus here. There we go. So we get these nice size and they're just i'm really impressed the handles and everything are painted very nicely like look at that there's a little bit of extra red on the one but that's gorgeous nice plastic they used um and it's just really clean and they're very thin and tiny like it's beautiful it's beautiful it's almost like they it reminds me of getting size with my uh G my storm shadow when they did the uh, Resolute Storm Shadow, it came with like size and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm just geeking about it. I love the weapons. Um, let's dive into the figure itself. And let's start with this beautiful head sculpt. And nobody can deny that is a gorgeous head sculpt. Lipstick, eyes, everything is just nice, clean. I love the sculpting of the hair, how it flows. A little extra red from the bandana up at the top there. But I mean, it's, it's, look at that. Like, the sculpt work's insane. Like, Hasbro, man, you guys are stepping up your sculpt game, and I really like it. Uh, a little bit of black showing through. It's not thick enough red paint on the top, but who cares? Um, and again, a little bit more red paint down there. But just the whole flow, the bandana, like the little they're like separate pieces. Well, they're not really separate, but they're attached to the little knot spot, but they're not attached to the hair, which is nice. Looks so good. Um, head articulation. She can look down a little bit. Um, she's not going to look up. The hair hinders everything. But, you know, you can look this far. That, oh, here, let me set her up straight. So you can look this far this way, this far this way. I mean, you can almost do full 360. Um, the hair will move and stuff. It just you can't look up or down. Um, Neck-wise, doesn't look too bad. Arms go up this far. Full rotation on them. No biceps, but we get the single jointed arm. This is just the female arm um, on there. They painted all this stuff on. I wish they would have maybe sculpted it, especially when they're doing like little tears. Um, because there's like tears all over it. Unless it's supposed to be like almost like a spandexy gauntlet, but I'm not too sure. Comment down below if you guys think it's supposed to be like a spandex like wrap around the wrist. And that's why it's all sliced up or what if it's supposed to be a red wrapping. I'm not sure, but it looks all right. It looks all right. I just wish it was sculpted um, because if you get down to this part, I think we've seen this before. Don't know who it was with. Maybe it's new, but it's, it's got to be new because it's, I don't remember a, uh, a back part being molded to a badonk because she has a booty, definitely has a booty and it's like making that back part flail out. Um, actually, this part looks, I wonder if they... Took this from, like, the front part from Adam Warlock's figure. Not too sure. Could go grab it, but, eh. But either way, we probably have this thing's pretty much new. Um, looks good. Um, it follows the curves of her female body. Um, you get the, basically, red plastic painted flesh on the hips. Because there's a belly button. It's super spandexy. Um, her ab crunch is not, it, uh, it goes down a little bit. It goes back a lot, but it, you know, not bad. It's not like Domino's. Domino's was really good. So, but yeah, I guess, I mean, the go in the back part it looks pretty good. For her being like a ninja, her legs can only go out this far. That's it. She's got these nasty thigh cuts, which just, just I'm, not, I'm not into that. She could definitely do some nice kicks. Double jointed knee. No boot swivel. And then you got ankle bend and pivot. 
So all you'd really need with an Electra figure, I mean, she's, she's definitely one that you should snag up from the series. I'm trying to put the sigh into her hand right now. She got that sigh holding hand. Yeah. <laughs> you can make her hold it like any way, but I mean, to me, she got the wrist rotation and bends. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. It's sort of all the all the articulation starts just blending all together. But look at that. Look at that. I was really just excited to get the sigh in the hands. I'm like, hurry, let me go through the the you know whole articulation. But uh, yeah, that looks that looks great. Get her nice posed up, and she does have it where she can hold it the other way, too. But I mean, one thing I'm not a fan of it's sort of you can see that it's not gripping as nicely, but some hot water could fix it. I just tighten up the hands a little bit. But I mean, come on, you got the daredevil in the back there eating some pizza and stuff. While he's watching his lady getting all manhandled. Um, but definitely a really, really fun figure. Don't forget to have fun with your figures. Pose them. Have I mean, they're toys. Play with them. You know, I busted out this old Toy Biz flight stand. And, you know, if you don't have an old flight stand or any flight stand, you know, you guys can uh, make your own. Um, if you go... There's on the Essos Hunters. If you guys aren't aware of them, you should be because they're really awesome uh, toy collectors themselves. But they show you how you can make your own flight stands out of like hangers and stuff like that. Um, I think even uh, Matt Tech Chucker, his uh, channel, I'm going to probably link both those videos down below, but you can make your own. Uh, and, and just a simple flight stand. You can get these nice poses going. And it's awesome. I mean, your ninja, you know, your characters that need to have that, like, jumping and leaping and all those cool moves. I mean, flight stands make it happen. And uh, you can definitely get a coat hanger and make it. Just make sure the biggest thing, um, I don't know if they mentioned it in the videos uh, that I'm going to link down below. Just make sure that you sand the edging of that whatever you cut. Because you're going to need wire cutters to cut them and bend it and all that stuff. Just make sure you sand it so it's not chunking plastic or scratching the paint of your figure. Um, but that is my figure review of the new Marvel Legends Electra from the Spider Wave. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, make sure you guys stay up to date on your latest toys and collectibles by joining up with the Toy Co Toys and Collectibles Facebook groups. There's one for pre-orders, one for just joining in the community and chit-chatting. So feel free to join up and check out their website. Keep in mind it's under construction. Um, but if you see something on there, use that toyco uh code unboxing toyco those will actually save you five percent on your purchase who doesn't want to save some money when you're buying collectibles and toys so thank you guys i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting have a beautiful day